Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for the week of the 20th through the 25th of November. And this is going to be for my Geminis. I will be using my Guardian Angels Messages Tarot. And to clarify, I'm going to be using my Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. So let's see what messages we have for you, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. So Gemini, this is for you, the Empress, abundance. Now, please do remember that these messages, I heard my friend, okay, I have a friend and I heard her describe it as the tarot cards are fluid. Sometimes you hear about the past, sometimes you hear about the present, and sometimes it could be the future. And I like that. I really do like that. So we got the Empress, which is about abundance. We got the King of Air. This is you, Gemini. And we have the Three of Fire. You got some goals in mind, and you might be going on a trip or something. Um, the Emperor, this could be a fire energy in your environment. This could be an Aries. This energy is pretty stable. <clears throat> and you have leadership qualities. Or it could be an energy in your environment, not necessarily romantic. It could be just an older en <laughs> older energy. Somebody that you could turn to and talk and they give you advice, okay? It's not necessarily um, romantic. Then you have the justice card here. Now, the justice card could be you saying, you know, do the right thing. You know, whatever it is that you're setting out to do, just do the right thing. Make sure you're in the right frame of mind and you're doing the right thing. Do it with your heart. Do it with good intentions, Okay. That's the um, justice card. This is the law of karma. What you put out, you get back. Okay? Plain and simple. So, all right. Then we got the four water. Uh, some of you guys might be a little distracted or deep in thought. Just make sure that you're not so deep in thought that you miss your opportunities. Okay? Then we have the night of air. The night of air to me talks about, well, this says determined and motivated, but I personally feel when the night of air comes through, it could be something that's going to bring a shift to your environment, okay? Um, whatever that shift is going to be, I think it will bring you some happiness. That's the sun card. And then we have the two of water. And this could be some love coming your way. Unified love. And if you are in a relationship, that relationship might be moving to a new level. Mm. So let's see. The Empress. On top of the Empress, we have the Four of Water, we have the Queen of Fire, and we have the Ten of Water. So the Four of Water talks about um, being self-absorbed, being deep in meditation, okay? Just make sure you might be... <laughs> You deep in thought in regards to this fire energy. This is a fire energy here. Um, this could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or Aries. Now, because of the Emperor, I would like to say that it's uh, Aries, okay? And this person has something to do... This is past energy, and it had something to do with a happy family. Maybe it was a marriage or something. But this is past energy. So we got the Four of Cups. We got the Queen of Fire. Now, that's the fire energy. And we got the Ten of Water, okay? Four of water, ten of water, four, four of cups or ten of cups, same. Or, <laughs> I love you, eh? 
you understand water and cups are the same water and cups are the same it's just when i started writing it on the deck i said cups instead of water so you get it so let's see here so on top of the king of air hold on you gotta turn these around because i don't okay we got the eight of earth you're learning all that you need to learn about something you're working very, very hard and you're very focused on something. Whatever you're focused on has you feeling um, very fearful and very negative. This is past, okay? And you feel like mm, he's giving you some sleepless nights here. What are you so focused on? You're thinking and you're worrying. It's like I got the night of air as well. I got the night of air here as well. Okay. I don't know what you're feeling fearful about or whatever it is. You need to learn all the things you need to learn about that subject. Okay? Whatever the situation. If it's a person, if it's a... If it's a person... Or if it's, it's a situation. Learn all you need to learn about that situation. Because it's giving you a lot of negative thoughts. Um, you're very, um, you know what you want. You're very driven and you, you, you're you very motivated here. You know exactly what you want. And there's bringing, it's bringing a shift in your environment. Just study the details of the situation, okay? We got the eight of air. We got the nine of air. And we got, we got the eight of earth. The nine of air and the night of air. Then we have the three of fire. Goals, expand, expansion, vision. Say so you're going places. You got the two of earth, but you got to watch your step. You got to watch your step. You're working very hard on multiple, multiple things you're working on. You got the page of air here. You're very logical and perceptive. Um, pretty blunt. But you're going to, um, there's something that's going to come and challenge you a little bit. Might be receiving some kind of messages to verify or clarify things for you. I don't know why I feel that. Then we have the three of water as well. The three of water, it'll bring celebration, okay? So whatever is giving you this feeling of you, you, you're staying up and you're worrying about it, you're thinking, overthinking it. You're studying the details, okay? You are going to make the right decision. You just got to watch your step as with all things new, okay? Study the details. The page of air. You might be getting some messages that will, might be challenging, might be a little challenging, but I think if you look at it in a different perspective, I think you'll be able to see the positivity in it. And this is the three of water, okay? So cups and water are the same, that's what I was saying. <laughs> so there's some kind of celebration, some news and, some good announcement. Maybe that was not a bad message. No matter what, it'll bring a shift. Not necessarily a bad message. It's going to bring some celebration. But you got the two of earth here, right? And it's like, it's like watching your step or feeling a little off balance, right? You might be doing a lot. You might have a lot on your plate. So just try to balance, okay, babies? You got the emperor here. Now, I don't know if this fire energy is this emperor. You got the balance card. You got the eight of fire and you have the seven of air. Well, I said you need to find some balance here. I feel that balance is going to be restored and it's coming pretty fast. However, along with whatever is coming, it seems like somebody ain't going to be telling too much of the truth. There might be some kind of, um, mm. betrayal, lies. The card says, the seven of air says, a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss, make sure you're honest with yourself. Somebody might be trying, some of you might be trying to 
reveal some embarrassing secrets, either of yourself or others. Just don't hurt anyone's feelings, okay? Be aware. Be mindful. All right. So we got the bounce card. We got the eight of fire and we got the seven of air. This is about betrayal. All right. And it seems like it's coming pretty fast. And it has something to do with this fire energy. It might have something to do with a, with a, a legal situation. But whatever, the, whatever is going to be the outcome, it's going to be fair and just all across the board. Okay, Gemini? On top of the Justice card, you have the King of Earth. The King of Earth is a stable energy. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Everything is turning out beautiful for you. You got the Ace of Earth. That's some money. New financial opportunity. You might have some also romance coming in. You might be having some romance coming in. You might be falling in love here as well. Maybe it's someone you'll meet at your job. I got the king of earth. This is a stable energy, very stable energy. The ace of earth is about new financial beginnings. It's about maybe a new job that you've been waiting for. Could be a promotion. Could be a whole new area for you, you know, but it's incoming. All right. It's totally up to you though. For real. And we got the Knight of Cups with that. Is <laughs> Romance is coming in too. They got the Knight of Cups here. It's coming. All right. It may seem a little slow, but it's coming. But remember, the main thing is about loving yourself first. Love you first. I think that that will start changing things in your life. Just my idea. It will start making you see how far you can go. You'll be amazed. So you got the King of Earth, the Ace of Earth, and Knight of Cups. Knight of Water. On top of the Justice card. Oh no, what's going on here? I don't know if this is a legal situation and that is over with. But then you got the four of water. Self self-absorption. Self-absorbed. Don't be so absorbed that you miss something. And then the next card that came is the dreamer. You're thinking about this. This isn't this is gonna bring a new beginning for you. This is gonna bring a new beginning. I got the dreamer. You gotta trust yourself though. We got the four of earth. You're managing your resources wisely. And we have the Empress take time. Time to take action. I mean, time to take action. You're giving birth to your dreams. You got some creative projects that you're going to be very successful at. And there's abundance and prosperity. There's a new beginning coming for you, Gemini. You just need to believe in you. Know that it's all is possible. All you got to do is set the intention and walk in it. Make sure you work because... For all of us, it's not just going to land in our lap. We got to do some work in order to do, to get it done or to see. All right? So you keep doing what you're doing and you move forward. You keep moving no matter how shaky you feel right now. All right? The feelings will pass. Trust and believe. So we got the dreamer, which is a new beginning for you. And remember, now this is Scorpio season and supposedly, well, not supposedly, I don't know much about astrology, but a little bit that I do know. And this is just from personal experiences because I am a Gemini as well. It's a time of transformation, you know. You feel kind of shaky for the most part. Just learn, just breathe. Not learn, breathe, breathe. Belly breathe into your lungs, okay? Hold it and let it out when you feel that shaky feeling, okay? All right, that's some advice I gave you there because I have to do that. It will pass, though. It will pass. Just believe it and it will. You got the dreamer, you got the four earths, and you got the empress. The empress is about abundance. You got the knight of air. On top of the knight of air, we got the magician. You can manifest anything you desire right now. Magic is alive and well in your life. Imagine that. What you need to succeed, it'll manifest. Have your heart in the right way. In the right place. 
do things with good intention. Okay. You got the Ace of Cups here. This is a button you love. And we got the Emperor. This is some stable energy here that's coming. This is very, very um, logical. And this will increase, this energy will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Whatever that situation is, you take charge of it. You hear me, Gemini? You got this. You just got to believe in you. You got the magician. You're magical. You got the ace of cups. This is a brand new beginning with love. There's some new love coming. And for those of you who are in a relationship, the relationship is going to move to a deeper level. You just got to know it will. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> The Ace of Cups said, or the Ace of Water says, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter or a new home. So it could be all of the above or one of those. And we have the Emperor. Very logical, stable energy. You got the Magician, you got the Ace of Water, and you got the Emperor. Then we got the Sun. The Sun is about happiness, success. Recognition, enthusiasm. We got the four of fire. We got the six of cups. And we got the ace of fire. Darlings, you got a lot to celebrate. You hear me? Give gratitude. Give gratitude to creator. I mean, you have a lot to celebrate. It's coming. Darling, there's something coming from the past from, for you. And it's not nothing bad. It's something good that's coming. It's going to bring you some new opportunities. You hear me? This is going to give you some amazing opportunities. We got the four of fire. We got the six of cups. And we got the ace of fire above the sun. And it will bring you happiness. All right? Just got to believe in you, darlings. Serious. Just got to believe in you. And then we got the two of water. Partnership, commitment, and reconciliation. The two of water. That's about unified love, okay? That's about mutual respect and, and love and feelings. It, it's, both of you feel the same. Uh, we got the page of earth. You're very dependable. Maybe a little mischievous. You are Gemini, you know. You're going to have happy news about your career. You got the queen of earth and you got the three of earth. This is about money, baby. This is about money and stability. The universe is building something for you where your career or where your finances are concerned. You just need to believe. You got the page of earth. You got the queen of earth. Now, the queen of earth could also be an energy in your environment. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And I know I got the King of Earth here, so this might be an energy in your environment here, okay? And then we have the Three of Earth. The Three of Earth is about the universe building something for you. It has something to do with your finances, and ain't nothing you can't do, and it could be about this love, too. It seems like this love that's incoming is going to be stable, okay? Just don't jump at the first thing you see. You make sure it's for you. And please remember, physical intimacy, you know, the act. And I'm speaking to my single people. <laughs> it does, does not equate to love. All right? Be aware of your body. Do not let any and everyone plug into you. And for my masculines, do not plug in to any and every one. All right. This is your temple. Treat it as such. We got the page of earth. We got the queen of earth. And we got the three of earth. And darling, whatever is coming. <laughs> Man, you learned a lot. You learned a lot. <laughs> the wise counselor. Compare things to see which is best for you, okay? The card says, unity with a spiritual-minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust. The answer will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. We got the wise counselor. We got the wheel of fortune. You got a lot of knowledge. And you got the justice card. 
justice card. You've got the justice card here. Remember what we put out, we receive. You will win if your position is one of integrity. Okay? You got the wise counselor, the wheel, and the justice card. You will win if the intention or if your position is one of integrity. And then we got the ace of air. You're going to have brilliant new ideas. Maybe even new communication. You're going to get that communication pretty soon, aren't you? And you're going to start making, um, taking steps. You're going to make choices. You're going to have two paths to move on. You're going to be expanding your plans and things will continue to move forward for you, Gemini. So you got the ace of air and you got the five. I'm sorry, the two of fire. <laughs> the two of fire. All in all, this don't look too bad for you. I say it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, Gemini. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. And we will chat soon, okay?